Princess Daisy Finds a Friend. Story by Kirsten Hall. Illustrated by G. Brian Karras. Once upon a time, there lived a princess named Daisy, who had everything a little girl could possibly want. Her tower was filled with toys. She had more dresses than the queen herself. Yet Daisy never smiled. The king and queen wondered what could be wrong. Did Daisy need a pet dragon or a diamond tiara? Would she smile if she had her very own circus? Her parents tried everything they could think of to cheer her up, but nothing seemed to work. At night, while everyone slept, Princess Daisy climbed out of her bed and sat by her window. She wished upon a star for the one thing she did not have, a friend of her own. Daisy didn't want to play with the boys and girls who curtsied every time they saw her. She didn't want someone who let her win at every game she played. Daisy wanted a real friend. One morning, the princess awoke to the sound of a beautiful song. She slipped on her velvet robe and hurried to the window where she spotted a peasant girl singing and picking flowers in the royal garden. Princess Daisy ran to her closet and pushed aside her silken slips and velvet gowns. Finally, she put on her simplest dress. She pulled the collar off and tore loose the hem. Standing before the mirror, Daisy hardly recognized herself. Then she tiptoed downstairs. Just as she approached the garden door, a servant entered. Daisy's heart began to pound, but the servant paid no attention to her. Daisy ran through the open door into the garden. Hello, she said shyly to the girl. You have a beautiful voice and I like your flower crown. Thank you, said the little girl. My name is Annie, and I can make you a crown too. Daisy sat very still as Annie wove the flowers into her hair. Daisy was so excited. She had worn diamonds and rubies and silver barrettes in her hair, but never flowers. When they were done, Daisy spun in a circle. She had never felt so happy. Annie began to giggle and spin too. Soon the girls were running hand in hand across the meadow. They were so happy to have found each other that the girls hardly even noticed a family of rabbits nibbling away in a nearby lettuce patch. When the afternoon sun grew hot, the girls splashed each other in the palace pond. As the sun began to set, the girls headed back to the castle, playing all the way. But when they reached the palace lawn, they heard a terrible commotion. Suddenly, the girls were surrounded by the royal servants. Your Highness, are you all right? They asked in alarm. The king and queen rushed toward Daisy. Their relief at discovering her turned into amazement. Daisy was smiling. Annie was stunned. Y you? You are the princess? Yes, I am Princess Daisy. I didn't want you to know. I wanted you to like me for myself so we could be real friends. We already are, Annie answered. Daisy smiled. Best friends. To celebrate their friendship, Daisy gave Annie a golden charm bracelet. I'll wear it always said Annie, and Princess Daisy was never sad again. I love this story. Friends are so important. I don't think we can have enough good friends, real friends, even if we have just one or two. But I think that friendship is such a precious gift that who's ever in our life, we should try to be the kindest, nicest person that we can be always seeking the other's highest, best, and good. Thanks so much for watching this Jazz About Reading video. If you wish to make a donation or learn more about this nonprofit, go to jazzaboutreading.org. Links in the description.